Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. We are doing another vlog style video today. Um, it's Friday fun day. So Sydney and I first stop is going to be the library. We have some things to return and I also want to pick out another movie because we are going to do a movie night tonight where we watch something um, at home and have so much fun. Um, and then Sydney does have summer camp in a couple of hours or a few hours this afternoon. So I figured we would just make a fun day of it. We'll go to the library, pick out some new stuff. We'll be close to the beach and possibly grab like a smoothie or something fun, maybe at a coffee shop. I don't know. We will see where the day takes us. Um, and I do have some adulting to do after I drop her off, but, uh, nonetheless, very, she's doing very, very well with no or limited screen time this summer. And so I feel like we're looking forward to the movie night extra. How peaceful does this look? So nice. So we're gonna just come on. Uh, what a beautiful day. Oh yeah, this a lot of Ooh, that's full. It's very full today. Oh yeah, I do see a big one. Ooh. Check it out, girl. I used to love these. Okay, so we got some good books. We got both of the Dragon Loves Tacos, or Dragons Love Tacos. We got movies, reading book, and some fun others. I had to get an Amelia de Bedelia because that's nostalgic for me. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you love tacos so much? Which one's gonna win? Sydney says hawk and I say falcon. <laughs> so let's, I don't know if I'm right, I just guessed. Let's just see. The hawk doesn't know what hit it. Wham! The falcon slices the hawk and breaks one of its wing bones. As the hawk tries to correct its flight, the falcon makes another dive. A direct hit. Wham again. The red tailed hawk is falling uncontrollably. It won't recover. That's horrific. It is horrific. It, it fed the meat to its babies. It ate everything. I like chipmunks better than squirrels. I have two chipmunk friends. Those might be the duckies that were. Mommy, the duckies are here. <laughs> the duckies. So that was lovely. It is the most gorgeous day. The weather is like warm, sunny, breezy, just so beautiful. So we grabbed a bunch of books, some movie or a movie, um, and we sat outside and enjoyed a couple of books and the weather. Now we have about an hour until Sydney has to go to summer camp and we're gonna grab some smoothies or a smoothie bowl at one of my favorite places. I've come here so many times. Um, it's a Faya Faya or Faya Faya, I forget how you pronounce it, but I absolutely love their smoothie bowls. And so we'll scarf one down. Is it good? I think hers had like strawberry, pineapple, banana, orange, and coconut milk. And I got the um, Fia Fia, which is like peanut butter, banana, espresso. What a lovely afternoon that was the smoothies and smoothie bowls were so filling and delicious and just dropped Sydney off at summer camp 
and now I have to go do like adulting things like register my car fun stuff um, and I have to return my P.O. box key because I actually just closed my P.O. box because I never get there and so I just closed it um, and have to return the key for that just as I expected the town office was so busy it's a Friday the last weekday of the month and so everyone is scrambling to register their cars before the, the new month on Monday um, but I was able to get that done I always feel accomplished when it's done like okay I don't have to worry about that or the inspection for another year which always feels really good um, and I closed my P.O. box, was able to run those errands and get those accomplished. I'm so grateful when I can do those things without Sydney because it's just boring running around adult things. So um, happy that I got that done. Also, while I have you and Sydney's not here, a little update on screen time and how it's going. So if you haven't seen that video or heard me talk about it many times, um, we did away with like Netflix, Disney, streaming services, no TV during the week for the most part um at all so she's been doing phenomenally with it i think she's asked a few times can i watch something on tv and i've said no and then she moves on and she doesn't like throw a fit or anything like that um so she fully understands like this is how it is uh, but we are having a movie night tonight she spent the night at my mom's last weekend so a week ago and she had a movie night with my mom so we're not totally disregarding screen time. There will be special occasions or, or small occasions where, you know, I do, we do like a movie or a show or whatever. I just feel like with less screen time, I feel closer. I feel like we can get more things accomplished. And um, I, she helps me cook in the mornings for breakfast. She's a little bit more independent these days. Uh, I don't know, I love it so far. Anyway, so I thought I would go ahead and give you just a little update on that. It's been a couple of weeks, three, has it has been two or three weeks now with um, no TV and yeah. Right, you can't see me, I can't see me. We're gonna go get pizza for dinner. Yeah, it's old, that's okay. Um, Sydney is all done at camp. She did free swim. And I was thinking about dinner, even though we got lunch, takeout for lunch, kind of. We're also gonna do it for dinner tonight, which I never do both meals, but I don't feel like cooking. This reminds me of what I got at, although I got a white pizza, but it reminds me of the Epcot pizzas. Just the way that they, they have the crust fired. We are braving Costco on a Saturday, the week before 4th of July. So wish us luck. No, I wanna go ahead and grab some snacks, granola bars and things for Sydney um, for the summer to have for camps and things. Um, and I also want to just very quickly pop over to the children's place to see if they have any uh, really inexpensive clothes for summer camps since a lot of our summer camps are outside and they're nice and messy and art full of arts and sands and water and all that. So that's on the agenda today. We've played outside a little bit this morning and so now I want to go ahead and get some errands done. Hey, what about an outfit like this for 4th of July? Oh, yeah, that's cool. Those are... Oh, look! These things. Alright, first stop, gas. Okay, we went to the mall, we got some stuff. We got baby clothes for a relative. We got some it's clothes for time. Sydney. Yep. And then I even got myself a sweater at Aerie real quick. But yeah, we are. And then I got gas at Costco. So the last stop is going into Costco and seeing what we can find for snacks and household items.
delicious. This is what we ended up picking up at Costco. It was very busy as expected on the weekends, but we got in and out and were able to do it. So with a million, a million samples consumed by my child, so it made it really fun for her. Um, we have some fruit cups for snacks. Sydney likes the mixed fruit and peaches. Uh, we have strawberries. Love grabbing the egg bites whenever we go to Costco. I like grabbing the egg white and roasted red pepper ones. These are delicious and um, stay right in the refrigerator. I have, I'll get you more water. I have a pack of mac and cheese. This is just nice. It lasts us so long, but this is just nice to have on hand for quick lunches and sides. Can never have enough canned corn, especially um, moving into the fall. It, I use it in many recipes in my crock pot. So I just grabbed a thing of that. We have some That's It mini fruit bars, mango, blueberry, and strawberry. I went ahead and grabbed a thing of dish detergent. I usually buy the pods, but I thought I would go ahead and do the liquid version this time. Um, Rouse mozzarella, mozzarella. Rouse marinara pasta sauce. Love grabbing it at Costco. It's these are much bigger jars and it's cheaper too. We have some freeze pops. Thought it would be nice for the summer to have just a large pack of these. We like these and they also have the good pops. The they're like bomb pops, the red, white, and blue ones. I almost swapped them out, but I was too lazy to go put these back. So we went with these this time. I have some Z bars, granola bars for Sydney. She loves those. These are a new purchase for us. They sound delicious. And from what I could feel, they're like soft and kind of squishy, which I like. I don't like the hard crunchy ones. So I will let you know what I think of these. Um, they seem like they have decent ingredients and also have probiotics and protein in them. And we needed a pack of batteries. I love grabbing, stocking up on batteries at places like Costco, Sam's Club, because they seem to be the cheapest. So I, we need a double A. I've never tried the Kirkland brand, but we will give those a go. And then I also grabbed paper towels. 